night I read some more Batman and Daredevil. Hmm. Why'd I do that? Well, uh, well, first of all, the the best of the batch would have to be uh, Batman versus Robin. Uh, this is uh, there already was a Batman versus Robin, but this is entirely different. <laughs> Uh, this one is uh, the spinoff of World's Finest, the story, the initial story. Uh, set this one up uh, as Robin uh, takes out his wrath on his daddy, Batman. Yes. So uh, I haven't been reading Batman regularly. So but even though I knew the elements from, you know, comic book sites and uh, other YouTube videos and whatnot about what had been going on but i was not interested in anything tom king had to do and so uh i bailed and i was not all that impressed with snyder before him or any of that stuff so just didn't keep up with it but i did know that um alfred was killed off and that he was dead well he's not dead anymore <laughs> so are you shocked and stunned uh however uh, even though this is a Batman versus Robin story, Robin has figured out how to use magic and uh, supernatural abilities. And this is what spins out of the storyline within World's Finest, which involved this demonic force. And it appears uh, Damien has unleashed it after uh, Superman and Batman worked so hard to lock him up. So anyway, that's the deal. Uh, and so I, I, I guess, and, and the odd thing about it is apparently the death of Alfred is what set Damien off on this path anyway. Uh, and yet, um, unwittingly may have resurrected him. I don't know that Alfred seems to be a little lost. He does look just like I am because <laughs> he's mentioning things that have happened already. And I mean, in the, in the distant past and, uh, he couldn't, he shows up at the house and Bruce Wayne's like, what? And, uh, he just assumes this is an imposter and all this stuff. And yet, uh, no, he appears to be the real Alfred. And then they both get attacked by, uh, Robin, uh, who's, uh, somehow taken over the minds of the new, uh, Thunderbolt. Um, and, um, what's his name? The, the uh, Oh, Tim Hunter, that's right. Yeah, the, the boy who would become the greatest wizard of all time. Yes, he does look exactly like Harry Potter, but there's a catch. Uh, Tim Hunter uh, greatly predates Harry Potter. Huh. How about that? Well, anyway, so uh, they were both uh, uh, recruited to uh, work their magic <laughs> against Batman. Uh, but, uh, Batman, uh, and Alfred escape, uh, Batman makes use of a key that, uh, you could use it on any door. And once, uh, you use it, it'll open a door to, uh, Zatanna's, uh, secret hidey hole. I mean, hidey hideout. <laughs> Whoops. And, uh, but something's wrong. Uh, apparently something's spilling out of Justice League Dark. She's, uh, all messed up and seems to be dead already, uh, but she's still talking <laughs> and uh, tells, uh, gives Batman a tip on what to do. And so there you are. And then, of course, it reveals that, yes, this is the uh, the devil Naza or whatever his name is. I uh, never quite knew how to pronounce it. The villain from World's Finest. So. It's fine. It moves very quickly and uh, establishes everything. So I, you know, I think uh, this will be just as good as uh, World's Finest, even though I'm not really up on all the elements leading to it. Uh, the other Batman uh, title is Flashpoint Beyond, which is this is a, uh, a revisiting of Flashpoint, which is the series that gave birth to the New 52 and all that stuff. But basically, uh, it centers around the Flashpoint version of Batman, which is Thomas Wayne, where in that version of the world, uh, young Bruce Wayne died at the hands of the mugger, not his parents. And so Thomas Wayne uh, became Batman, and his mother Martha went crazy and became the Joker. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, what are the odds? Um, of course, uh, different takes on it. 
Uh, I don't know. I mean, they, they threw in that Dr. Manhattan had something to do with it, but then they, the only way for that to happen is that someone deliberately made this happen. Um, you know, <laughs> I mean, her going crazy and something, but becoming the Joker when, uh, and in this story, they reveal where the guy who really is the Joker is, but he's, he's not the Joker because the events are different and it never happened to that way. And this is the one where they reveal the Joker's name is Jack Oswald White. <sighs> Why? I mean, you know, for a while the name was Jack Napier from the, the movie and then in the cartoon and stuff. It doesn't matter. So you can just forget that. Um, the Flashpoint Beyond, I've been reading it. Uh, it, it's okay, but this latest issue was just god awful, really. Uh, it, they had to hurry up and ex well, not hurry up, it went on forever. Uh, uh, this show with um, Mr. Terrific being interviewed alongside some woman who's involved with the Time Masters. I, I don't know who she is, but but she's better than Mr. Terrific. She because he's the smartest man on earth, but she's the smartest woman, so that makes her better. So basically, all she's there for is to explain how their multiverse works now. So there's the omniverse, there's the multiverse, and then there's hyper time, and it just goes on and on and on. Uh, and essentially means nothing matters, uh, but while saying everything does, but um. Yeah, I, whatever. It, 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 this is spilling out of their stupid dark crisis. Which a lot of this stuff they talk about, and she's just going on, well, there was the first crisis, and then there was zero hour, and then there was all this, 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 and nobody would ever would remember it, you know? But, I mean, they always throw in people who are special and remember. So, of course, the psycho pirate always remembers stuff like that. So, uh, the whole point of this. <laughs> Uh, they've already revealed it that apparently Batman, the real Batman, Bruce Wayne, uh, did this because he wanted a world where his parents lived to exist, I guess. And he made use of the Time Master's uh, time machine and stuff like that. But now it's catching up with him and all this. And um, But uh, the Thomas Wayne Batman remembers that he and the Flash uh, changed everything because he wanted the world where Bruce Wayne lives ex uh, to exist. And so that's how that story ended. And yet now here he is and he can't figure out what happened, what went wrong. So he's trying to redo it, but he finds Barry Allen's dead. And, oh, there's a bunch of serial killings, but uh, the clockwork killer. And it turns out it's his ex-wife, Martha, who is now the Joker and all this stuff. Uh, but a whole, this is the worst of the batch. The only cool thing about it is that the Thomas Wayne Batman is an interesting character and, and a take on the Batman story. Instead of Alfred, he has uh, the Penguin is his butler and the right-hand man. <laughs> he operates a bunch of uh, casinos. Uh, he's like, he, he is one of the crime bosses almost <laughs> while operating as Batman, you know? And, uh, but that's, he's, this issue was just terrible. All it was was for them to just spell out rather than figuring out a way to show it uh, from an event that it's connected to, more or less, with that stupid dark crisis thing they got going on. And um, they're getting ready for yet another reboot, which they do need to do because DC Comics is so horrible. So if they do a reboot where everything falls in line and is handled the way World's Finest is, eh, they'll be in better shape. But it's probably too late, of course. But so Flashpoint Batman, uh, at least this issue, um, was um, just not so good. wasn't really all that. The other issues are, are fine, uh, but that's just because of this version of Batman. is It's cool. It's kind of interesting. But uh, it all ends, and this one you could have just passed and wait for the next one. I don't think you really needed it. Um, no, you really didn't. So anyway, Daredevil. I uh, haven't really looked at a Daredevil comic in a long time because I figured Marvel has gone to, to complete crap and I had no interest in it. Um, had been hearing, again, uh, you know, bits about it and all this stuff. Uh, this is yet another reboot of a series. <laughs> so I haven't read the earlier issues, but this one, uh, primarily, just the cover is really cool looking, you know. 
that's one of those that could probably go down as a classic of Daredevil covers. Not a fan of his baggy pants, but other than that, you know, it's Daredevil. Uh, but it, the thing of it was, was Chip Sadarsky's writing it, and I was giving his Batman a chance. Uh, you know, only a couple in, I'll see where it goes, but I wasn't so impressed as others were. Uh, this Daredevil issue was fine for what it is, uh, but it's kind of one of these that's in the midst of its transition to a new story. Uh, apparently, Matt Murdock has faked his death, and now he only exists as Daredevil. And uh, I did know that they did this story where Kingpin had become mayor of New York, but uh, now Luke Cage is. And apparently Luke Cage just ran against him to get him out of there and was going to give it over to someone else. But now he's kind of liking being mayor. <laughs> he meets uh, some crooks that Daredevil warns him about. And uh, they're a brother and sister team and they're all creepy and nasty. And now they're in league with the hand. While at the same time, Daredevil and Elektra are forming a group that's to, to counter the hand called the fist. <laughs> Uh, will it be hand over fist? Oh, well, stay tuned. <laughs> so, and a new uh, somebody who looks like a little girl, but is supposed to have been the mentor to Electra. So I'm guessing that's some supernatural shenanigans uh, for her appearance. But she uh, a quick quickly makes short work of Daredevil. But again, if it's all this supernatural stuff, then, you know, you know, just won't count that as one of those stupid scenes of where a a toothpick limbed uh, woman takes down a you know muscle bound man and all that but for some reason daredevil's unable his other senses you know to detect her and then after a while uh, he can and he says oh that's because she wants me to all right but that's man is one of her great advantages she's going to give it away or whatever but uh she threatens him um and uh, he realizes that she'll get th to him through uh, his loved ones, so he goes and picks up Foggy Nelson. So um, I guess he'll have to be on the run with Daredevil as well. Uh, who uh, he and Elektra were going to leave New York to go build the the fist, <laughs> and uh, so that's where it is. Uh, this is only the third issue in this new run of Daredevil. Um, maybe I'll catch up with the other two at a later date. I don't know. Uh, I, it wasn't bad, um, but it's only one issue. Um, so I don't know. I can't, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> the art's good. Uh, and, um, certainly the cover is really great. So, uh, there's that. Uh, I guess it was a little better than the Batman I read by Sardarsky. But, um, again, it's r rather... Uh, limited amount to uh, make judgment on so but uh, better than Flash, uh, Flashpoint Beyond at least this issue so hopefully it'll uh, rebound in the next one but um, right now uh, Batman versus Robin is the best of the batch until another issue of World's Finest comes out which remains the best there is uh, currently so anyway that's that's the comics I read for this episode of Mr. Nelson's Wednesday Comics.